This is the Doctor continuing the Warhammer 40k Daemon Hunters playthrough. Next mission time, this one's back to extracting seeds and whatnot. Three enemy types, that's quite alright. Uh, we should be more than capable of doing this without losses or even injuries. Like, uh, I don't think I've actually taken a single wound the entire campaign so far. The game does get harder, so... Uh, this is not necessarily representative of the entire game. This is still like act one like the easy act All right, so I've prepared the squad We will of course do this glorious deed to kill eight enemies with ranged weapons. The hardest part about this is I might just forget uh, But uh, hopefully I shouldn't night warg I am going to try to go on the right hand side I'm dabbling you in a little bit of everything without specializing because I kind of want to see what sort of weapons I get. Uh, also, if I'm going to go down this route to get mental focus and the reload, uh, there's Enduring Reflexes, which is plus one use per turn. That's really strong. Sanctifying Kill Zone, a little extra damage sometimes is just what you need to. Uh, vulnerable. We check the Codex. Is uh, The enemy takes more damage. So, plus, uh, afflicted target suffers plus two damage from attack. And that debuff is an AoE. So, if we catch like three enemies, that's effectively plus six damage. In the right circumstance, it's very, very powerful. Uh, I've already reassigned all the gear and whatnot to everyone. I've decided to bring Sagato on this mission. Uh, get him a few more levels. Look at how beautiful Pendant looks with this Righteous Fury sword and his uh, mastercrafted armor. Oh, everyone just looks so beautiful. I only have the one stratagem, so let's go ahead and get started. Just gotta remember to actually kill things with ranged weapons. The sons of the Putrid Eye use these roads as a base of operation. Another foul cult of Nurgle. There is little doubt we will find more of these seeds below. Brothers, advance. Alright, one seed. Two seed. They're on opposite sides of the map. Kind of annoying. Huh. Oh, uh, we can't go this way. So we have to go straight. So I guess that's uh, the first pod to hit. Onward, brothers. All right, there's a patrol. We're probably activating turn one. I love the pace Standing of this ready. game. Like, we strive. just go, go, go. Is this gonna activate? Mm, probably not. It will be done. Yes, By now. Not. What is your will? That will probably your activate, so... What is your will? Oof, okay, you have to climb your way up. The Emperor lights our okay. path. Your command. I don't Act think west. that will activate over here. This probably will. Uh, so Zook... Do armor up. Oh, I have another move. Uh, on Night War, you don't need to armor up, but will this activate? Maybe. I'm here to serve. Onward, Let's see if brothers. this activates first. Yes. Ooh. Be plague marines. Hmm. Permission to engage, Commander. You have permission, Pendant. These heretics are. Annoying. All right, this plague marine he has a bolt gun. This one also has a bolt gun, but the one in the back he has a different weapon. He's got his usual plague knife and then a plague belcher, which is kind of like a flamethrower type weapon, except it spreads plague. Uh, but it's kind of short range, like range six. Uh, Affect, afflict plague, but you know who's immune to plague? Um, Zook. Now, the, the weapon does do two damage, though. 
an armor pierce, so I still want to be a little careful. I wonder if I can grenade you off the cliff. Seems worth a try. Unleash me. You can also debuff them. Alright, let's see if this can grenade them. Mm, but if I wanted to grenade them off the cliff, I think I have to do it like this. This might just knock you over. Okay. Yeah. Where is Night Warg? Alright. I actually think we're gonna do things a little differently. Night Warg, you're gonna open with your AoE. Then we will use a grenade here, why not? I don't think this will knock any of them in. Maybe if I do it like this, it might knock the middle one in into the uh, pit. We'll see. No such luck, but the guy who has the uh, plague throwing weapon is all the way in the back. So that is real good. We can teleport Zook. And the fun can really begin. What is your will? Shoot, support fire. You're dead. Unleash me. Seven. Unleash me. Eight. Eight. My blade I don't is think everything. it actually matters because the support fire is four, three. Eh. Warg has a ton of um... the enemy weakens. Ton of AP now, but I could do this to kill on Zagato. That seems pretty good. Justice. Yes. And we can move Pendant up. Wow, that jumping. Port fire. Here's commander. Smash with the hammer on Zoot. You have been judged. That moron is all the way in the back. Shouldn't really be able to do anything. So we'll just take some pot shots at him. You'll also have to walk through fire. I don't know if that weapon ignores cover. Uh, I don't have a way to heal away the plague. So let's just Onward, go down here. Yeah, he doesn't want to run across fire. He's a plague marine. Oh, he's going to fight fire with plague? That's not going to work very well for you, buddy. To do more Welcome teleport on. nonsense. Uh, okay. See, it is up Push there. Alright, let's move everyone. Where can we move Night Warg to get a good shot? Up here. I want to try to finish this off with Night Warg, if at all possible. Oh, that's not a punch. I don't like any of these shots. Unleash me. Gliding through the wall. Oh, yeah, what? Duh, I didn't expect that would activate. This is okay. Okay, okay. Oh, double activation. This is exactly what you didn't want to do. It's okay. They're very, very far away, and most of them are melee guys. They only have two range guys. All right. I guess we're playing XCOM and not not this game everywhere. anymore. I really didn't think that would activate. I think we have to run Zook away. We can't risk a triple activation. That might be like the only way to actually 
lose a mission. Might have to do the honor the chapter. Ability. Or anywhere I can go to get better shots. I mean, this is not a better shot, we but. Strive. A pendant. What is your will? Alright, so here's a gato. Not a strong hit, but it is a hit. Six, okay. Destroy. Reload required. That's a kill. I must react. They have a lot of melee guys, which is real good. Your command. I hide myself back here and then just uh, Aegis. I should be safe. I'm far away from that other pod, which is the most important thing. Can't shoot that. Well, might as well overwatch here. Alright, if that Plague Marine wants to get next to the explodey thing, that's great. Attack! Kill them all! Nice, nice. <laughs> and then I don't care so much about the melee ones, they don't really do much. Alright, let's speed this up. Come on, melee guys. Oh, they're just gonna stay there? Fantastic. The Emperor lights our path. Okay. Where is that patrol? It's kinda whatever it is, it's kinda far away. We should be alright. I am with you. Uh I wanna try to grenade all of them. Oh no ammo. Well, that thing will explode and kill all of them. Almost all of them. I'll take that night work. We slay the so darkness. Three enemies with ranged weapons. Okay, we're getting there. If we crit that one, we can get the seed, which would be Are nice. Hmm, I could teleport Zook and then use some abilities to give him more okay. AP. I don't care about the warp surge. I think that's the way to go. I don't see how else I get through this uh, nonsense here. Slaughtered. We just run back, like, or... No, but their melee guys can catch me. I could also armor up, but again, their melee guys can catch me. How much hit points do you have? Eight. Oh, but they do two damage per hit. If I run up and smacks, okay, Unleash I know what me. to do. Just basic plus two AP is enough. Yeah, these guys only do two damage. Oh, they do three damage each. Really? I thought it was two damage. Some of them do three and some of them do two. Interesting. That would be a kill. Ah. I am here to serve. Hmm. Wow, should I Oh, I have another honored chapter, huh? Okay, okay. Can I do it multiple times? Yes. Fantastic. All right. Well, now on. we know what to do. Burn now. You will rise. Wounds inflicted. 
smash that one. Well done, Zook. I love how aggressive you are. We'll crit you and get the seed. Plus one damage. Oh, he's gonna run away, right? Because of that, um... Oh, he's immune to afflictions. No, he's immune to plague. I thought this sword, um... Inflicted... Oh, you have to force strike to inflict that uh, panic ability to make enemies run away. Okay, that's fine. That's whatever. Uh, maybe I can just do a basic shot from here. I have no ammo. Alright. Oh, well, then. And then kill. We have purified this place. Yes. Purified the place, all right. Moving now. Chaos stirs within the shadows. Okay. Move out aggressively. The only way to move. Your orders. With maximum aggression. Is going to activate. It's possible. The emperor lights our path. At once. That activate it's what again possible. We strive. I really need to getting close to teleport, but I think that's too good. We can still teleport basically up in their face. Unleash me. Let's see if this activates. Okay, it didn't. I was I'm here to thinking serve. that might happen. Probably should have aged on Sagato. Ah, it's fine. The are here. Oh, the Ready preacher. Okay. And a whole bunch of melee guys and an explodey thing. Good. Threat yes. Identified. Gather around the explodey thing. My blade is ever ready. Yes! Nightwork! Oh my god! Carnage! Okay, we've also killed enough en en enemies with ranged weapons. Not a shock. Your orders? Oh, your teleport range is insane, Zook. Last pod is very far away. Need to kill that preacher? I don't really care about the Let's other enemies. Up. Three, okay. Just need to inflict three damage on the preacher and he's dead. Done. You can only smack one thing, Zoo. Unleash me. Can you see anything though? No. What is your will? And then Does Zook have another support fire? The answer is yes, Cyball, yes, good. More kills. This guy, how much damage does he do? Four? Thing is, Zook is actually uh he's got four armor. The only question is, is that going to activate? It might. <laughs> Stay back, Zook. Let's not risk any any other activations. Ooh, look at that. That's an extra seed, an extra resource. If you want to smack Zook in the face, you're welcome to. You'll be quite all right. Lesser Poxwalker. Oh, that thing. Oh, this is a different one. This is a um, lesser Poxwalker. Okay. Those things only have like one health or two health or something like that. Yeah, I, they're completely wrong. Okay. Ooh, don't forget, that's the explodey guy. 
Um, we're gonna have to teleport out of the way. You have only two ammo left, although you can shoot twice and reload to get yourself ready for next turn, Night Ward. Like that. The devil shall elude my gaze. Um, Zook, aren't you immune to plague? And when this guy explodes, to reduce to zero HP or mutated, explode, afflict plague. But it doesn't actually do anything else. Ah, all it does is afflict plague. Well, if I'm immune. And I'm not afraid. Yeah, yes. Well done, Zook. Okay. Got a couple guys. A small amount of hit points. Blessed ammunition depleted. How much can these guys move? Five? You might actually be able to punch Night Ward. My blade is yours. Aye, sir. Just move everybody up. I mean, we have to. We strive. Shouldn't have any risk of double activations. It will be done. Get that seed. You have two AP. Yeah. We'll move Night Warg over. Move you over Sagato and then reload. Oh, I think you're too far for Overwatch. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're no threat. Although they are gonna make it so that I can't get my automatic reload and stuff on my weapons. Standing ready. For the last pod. Um, I'm not gonna go back and hunt them down. That's too unaggressive. Huh. I I am his will. Blessed ammunition depleted. Alright. That's fine. Unleash me. We do need I to spend a turn setting up. Rounds. Advancing. Your orders? That really shouldn't activate. Okay. Yes, Commander. As you command. Praise the Emperor. Taking position. It's gonna get Your everybody command. into position. I'm here to serve. Everything is reloaded. Ah, no reason not to overwatch. Yeah, all those things are way too far in the back. I don't care. Okay, we're gonna activate that last pod and we're not gonna get all our AP. What an interesting twist turn of events. Okay. My blade is ever ready. Aye, sir. Well, Unleash I mean, me. on my way. I, I still don't want to activate them with minimal AP. That would also Standing be bad. Ready. That should activate, right? Ooh. That also seems like it would almost certainly activate. Maybe this Which won't. Time? Yes. Okay. Get everybody a little closer. Raise the Emperor. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna overwatch, it's gonna end turn. Alright. Now any move I make should activate them. That's an oil slick? Maybe that might blow up in my face? I don't care. They're all gonna die before they can do anything. Okie doke. 
That's seven of them. That's a larger pod than usual. But we have grenades. What are these cultists? Cultists. Cultists. That guy is a grenadier. He has a seed. We can kill him anytime we want. Then the heavy. What sort of shots do we have? Not really very many good ones from here. I am here to serve. Hmm. My blade is ever ready. I might have to debuff. If I stand here, they shouldn't be able to do anything to unite war. Kane. The Zook. I have that Quicksilver ability. It's very good. I can teleport Zook here and start wiping out this bunch to set up for next turn. I do quite like... Hmm. I think I do quite like that. Gliding through the wall. This is the time to use that uh, Quicksilver ability. Oh, I already used it? Ooh, I forgot. Wow. How interesting. Grizzlite. Alright, those three are basically neutralized. Uh once it got over here. My okay. blade is ever ready. We're just gonna need to get one kill before I can crit. Seek and destroy, brother. And it's all it's all fine. Unleash me. Well done, Zook. And then you're gonna defend yourself. Oh, you can crit the Grenadier. Okay, that works. You just crit him next turn. Little damage. Uh, I guess I forgot the support fire thing. A thing can do over there. This is kind of a. I mean, I don't know if this can get flanked, but sure. Need to get up closer. Okay, didn't really do anything. Let's slow the animation down a little bit. All right, we do need to run out. Ooh, that idiot took cover behind a explodey thing. Suppression, Zuko will have to deal with that. Ooh, a little punch. <laughs> pathetic. Yes, Zook. I agree with you. They are pathetic. You will bleed. The Emperor protects. <laughs> yes, bend it. Just wait. Just wait. What's the other more I'm gonna do? Got the high ground, can't even hit. Of course, they're all blinded by the magnific magnificence. <laughs> what am I saying? Magnificence. That is Night Ward. All right, three. They're actually getting close now. Hmm. There's five of these cultists. Oh. That's too good. I'm here to serve. What is your will? No reason not to use up all my grenades. But it is actually very important that what we clear out that suppression up top first. And there's an exploding thing, so go oh, ahead, pendant. Open with that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? I don't even know what happened and it was it was that incredible. Okay. They have a gazillion overwatches. Your orders? Which is not ideal. 
My blade is yours. You will pull the Overwatch on one of these, Night Warg. Uh, but you can take a point of damage. It's just one measly point of damage. Night Warg, you can take it. Like, don't complain. Alright, crit. That should give me the seed. I trust your men deserve some samples from our Do return to the edict at once. Another seed. Then we can run around and keep smacking them. It will be done. Any others? Oh, yes. More smashy. Wow. How incredible is that? Like, Zook. Three hammer smashes, three kills. Night Ward. Good job on the kill. Mercy in death is right. Why don't you go stand on top of this uh, truck that's on fire? Generally, a terrible yeah, idea. But this is not XCOM. Um, okay, boars. You can get this one. Then, pendant. Slash these two with your sword. You hit so hard, the game couldn't even show that animation. That's how strong you are. For the Emperor's chosen. Woo! Is some of my guys on fire? I know there was an oil slick. Ugh, the preacher. I don't like those These preachers. Will suffer the ultimate punishment. <laughs> yes. Yes, the heretics will suffer punishment. Resistance. I don't like that. Hit points. I also don't like that. Okay. Your command. Open with a teleport on Zook, as always. You can't actually reach anyone in one round. Oh. Oh, that's no good. Do we have uh, abilities to Standing give AP? Ready. The answer is yes. Okay. Do we have any more grenades? What is your will? Duke, why do you have a medical server skull? I didn't give you a grenade? Ah, a grenade here would be real good. Alright, that's, that's quite alright. Okay, you can't see that one. Alright, how much, uh, you have a lot of willpower in work. That can't hit. Okay, let's hit one and get the support fire going and figure it out after that. I might actually uh, debuff. Alright. Ooh, I can't actually debuff both of them. Oh, wait. There we go. Sure. Affliction resisted! What? Oh, okay, okay. Three. You have more ammo, Zook? Yes. So, this should be a kill. Because Zook is going to support. Wait, why didn't you support fire Zook? Because you can't see him? Damn! Okay. I'm out of stratagems. Oh, I didn't do the right thing. Uh, I did vulnerable, although that works. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Give myself plus two AP. My focus fails me. Kane. Oops. Let's come here. Smack. No match for the Emperor's chosen. Sunzuk. 
I thought I did the blind, but this works out. Wow, that hammer is so strong. It, like, packed that guy in two. Uh, that would not be a kill. Is there any way we can get a kill there? And the answer, I think, is no. All right. Well, in that case, it's better to armor up and kill him next turn. I have the high cover, but I'm so easily flanked. Eat this! <laughs> or he could do nothing. Uh, yes, armored by faith and like that ridiculous power armor. It's hard to tell what you're protected by more, buddy. Alright, who wants to kill? Let's get Sagato to kill. He needs the experience. Oh, the support fire will, uh, okay, well, let's do it like this. Sagato, get him! Alright, this is the last group and turn. Cleared the map, excellent. Wow, look, did you just see Sagato, like, twirl his hammer around? Yes, that is how you celebrate victories. How incredible is the squad? The answer is the most incredible. All right, let's see. I'll take that apothecary. Retribution. This weapon has better overwatch. Meh, don't care about that. Titan strike. Knockback. Uh, I don't know if I need knockback. A lot of times, you don't really want to knock something back. It's real good if you can knock something off a cliff or something, but um, I don't know if I want that. Ah, now this is interesting. Plus 10% focus. Oh, this is a Terminator armor, though. Alright, what is this? Psych out grenade. Last attack. Does zero damage, but afflicted target cannot use psychic ability. Uh, it's not that critical right now, but it may be good later. However, the plus ten percent focus on this armor could come in handy. As another piece of mastercrafted Terminator armor, it doesn't do anything right now, but when upgraded, plus twenty percent focus, and certain classes they can get base bonus abilities. This could be quite good for certain builds. So like, not good right now, but good later. I'll take that. Plus it's just a better Terminator armor too, plus two hit points. So it does something immediate. I don't think I want these. I don't really think I need this Psych Out Grenade yet. Probably pick it up if it comes around later. Alright, no levels, but that's quite alright. Okay, um, because my prognosticators are down, I actually cannot make the, uh, this other mission. Uh, the timer is just too short, and there, I can't even repair the prognosticator in time. If there's like five days left on this or whatever, I would try to do that. Uh, so, quite unfortunate. Um... I kind of want to know, hmm, where should I go? I feel like there will be a mission that spawns here, you know. But maybe I can come here and then prep. Nah, or I could just stay put here. That's probably wise. Just stay put here, advance the time. There's no point going here. Very unfortunate that the Argorium is damaged and I can't squeeze in this other mission here, but it's not really that big of a deal. All right. Uh, and we are researching stuff. Everything's good. We have five grimoires now. And I have the thing, uh, built up. Uh, not that I did not want to click that. I meant to go to the engineering. And the ship status. I have that, uh, Libris Malleus built up. So now I am actually making some good progress in research. Uh, research. Where's the rate? 
250%, up from 70%. That's not bad. Uh, and then I can read. Wow, look at how quick a lot of these research is now. Like, 18 days here, 24 days here, um, 12 days. We're finally making good progress. All right, that was a quick mission. So let's do. Oops, I did not mean to do that either. Let us do some talking to the characters. We both have work to do. What do you need? All right, she wants to use the seas to find a nexus, huh? So how will you do that? Do you doubt me, Commander? Uh, the psychic resonance that covers each seed leaves a spore I can follow. The more we collect, the stronger the trail to the nexus. That's very good. What do you think this nexus is? I do not know where the psychic scent will lead us. Yet. I tell you is that these seeds have been germinating for some time. They require a safe location where the warp has taken hold in the materium. One that would not readily fall under our scrutiny. Somewhere they could be left undisturbed for centuries. A hundred years? Several hundred, undoubtedly. I will put it plainly, the Lords of Chaos are powerful indeed, but we both know they cannot act in real space with total impunity. This plague has been the works for a long, long time. It okay. Must. Is this the first time you work with the Grey Knights? To be honest, I had doubted your chapter's very existence until recently. It would appear the old adages are true. There is strength in secrecy. Uh, apparently this group of Space Marines is like a secret. Uh, and their whole job is to fight chaos. And so if anybody found out that you fight chaos, you just get purged, aka like killed right away. That is a crazy, crazy system. Uh, look at this armor on Vicure. Like you can see like bullet marks, like uh, some cracks here. Like uh, I think you need to fix your armor because uh, yeah, I I'm not liking all these like dents. Like compare this to our Space Marine armor. Our armor doesn't have these issues. I contacted the Ordo directly for martial support. Okay, the only response was a set of coordinates. I followed them and the edict appeared shortly thereafter. You can imagine my surprise. Our return to Titan was unscheduled. How did they know where we were? The Ordo has the best prognosticators, unrivaled in reading the Emperor's tarot. And there are other methods of divination that the ignorant would call heretical. Okay, so some sort of psychic nonsense. Very Do good. I bore you? Yes, you've taken enough of my time. I've taken your time? What? Protocol demands a preliminary salutation. Consider <laughs> this requirement fulfilled. You know, of the three characters, I feel like Nunet is the only one who makes the most... Like, he, she's the most sensible of the bunch. Which kind of makes sense. Her whole vibe is like a logical machine thing. These fragments are more than mere seeds. Preliminary analysis suggests their origin lies prior to the Great Heresy. Further study is required. Okay, so you agree with the Inquisitor. How can an Archaeotech shard spread disease? The machine spirits can be corrupted by the warp like any soul. Archaeotech spread scrap codes. Spirits that were once honorable now serve the dark powers through ruinous algorithms. Have you encountered such entities? I once had the opportunity to study a predator tank that served the Black Legion. Machine spirits were corrupted and vicious and desperate to spread their taint even into my own blessed machinery. An instructive experience, but I was forced to destroy them before observing the limits of their behavior. Okay, so from what I'm gathering, she encountered some sort of tank with a virus. And she, like, that's what this seems to be talking about. You care about this ship, yet does not belong to the priesthood. Really? I thought this was like... I guess she's just the engineer on the ship. She really loves this ship. Ownership is irrelevant. My duty is to her. Question of propriety regarding the ships in the Imperial and Astartes navies is as old as the pact that brought the Emperor and Mars into the alignment commander. Okay, I just know you care much more about the ship than the retinue. I was just saying that. Its storied history eclipses that of anyone currently aboard. Uh, undoubtedly. Okay, well, you know, you're very honest. I, I appreciate that, Lunette. I appreciate your honesty. Carried several Grand Masters, huh? Waiting for new That's input. impressive. I must attend to repairs. Alright, let's see what Ektar has to say. Do you seek wisdom, Commander? I am no ancient, but might be of some help. The Inquisitor wants us to harvest more seeds. I've harvested quite a few. The cost of working with the Inquisition, brother. She would have us suppress our righteous wrath to gather her research father. 
it is true, gathering those seeds is uh, not quite as efficient as just running up and smashing everything. You have to, like, play it carefully. The Inquisitor's methodology has proved fruitful. All right, very good. He wants to purge Nurgle servants on sight in holy fire. <laughs> I haven't even used the flamethrower, buddy. Have you fought the play God's minions before? Nurgle is a powerful and detestably creative enemy. Hmm. The plague god does not simply desire death and destruction like corn. He twists with life, changes it, shifts it into a twisted and corrupted image of his own devising. And his foul works adapt relentlessly to survive. There is a lot of mutation nonsense. We haven't really seen that yet, but it gets crazy later on. Certainly. Uh, all right. Very good. We talked to everybody. And there's literally nothing else to do except advance time. So let's do it. Quite a shame that we couldn't do more missions. Frog is back! Now, uh, let's let's keep advancing in time. No reason not to. Passing through a warp storm has a high chance of causing adverse events for the edict. Warp storms also interfere with missions that occur within their boundaries. Ah, yes. These warp storms. Going through there almost always causes something bad. Uh, there's an upgrade you can get on your ship, which I think is quite important, uh, that uh, eliminates that risk uh, entirely. Where is that ship? Uh, but <laughs> look at how far it is. All the way up here. This thing, Nghan Skeller Field, uh, protects you against the warp storm. Uh, so whatever you do, well, the warp storms are only covering two systems. That's not so bad. That is okay. All right, you fixed the Argurium. Very good. Let's see what else we can build here. Yeah, get us more experience. Thirty-six days. Profit carry. Story. I, I mean, my brothers are not gonna die. You know what? Let's uh do some resources. Let's build three servitors. So we can get more servitors, gain one servitors per 10 days. Right now, I think I'm getting one every 20 days, which, you know, this will double it. Uh, save some servitors. We might want a better upgrade, like the... Yeah, look at how expensive some of this stuff is, like the plasma reactor, and then more warp drive stuff. I can also gain more experience, but I, I'm thinking my knights are actually quite fine. Like, so let's just do this. Also, the thing is that project is very cheap. It's only three servitors. If I have to cancel it, it's not a big deal. Okay, three missions. I can go do this one. Win without grenades. That's very easy. It didn't spawn a mission there. Hmm. And then win without using willpower. That could be quite challenging. This mission has 14 days. Win without critical injuries, which is very easy. Let me just see something. Okay. Um, prognosticators don't work in the warp storm. So we're kind of lucky nothing happened in the warp storm for us. And master report, construction progress. Okay. Well, how long is this mission? 12 days. I doubt I can get to this one and this one, but I might be able to get to this one and that one. I do that, there's no chance of getting that one. Okay, what is this requisition? Eh, it's fine. What is this one? Grimoires? I do want more grimoires. What is this? Probably servitors? I'm okay on the servitors for now. Although, if I can win this without spending willpower, that is so much reward. Like, but I think I always go here. And then we'll see if we can get to any other mission. We just. Yes. Ooh, I can get to either one of these. Very nice. I might actually do this one. Ten servitors could come in handy. I don't know if I can win without using willpower, though. That would be... I mean, I, I can, but it would be tough. 
This one would give me just like three... The thing about this is this would give me three requisition, right? No problems. And this one would give me four if I do a hard mode challenge. I mean, it seems to me it makes sense to do this next. Also, more grenades. Got a row on grenades. Alright, well, um... After this, uh, seven days of Grandmaster Report. Okay, well, this campaign is... I'm, I'm gonna think about unlocking the story mission next. I just really want to unlock the full galaxy. It's gonna be a lot of fun, even if it's more efficient to farm some of these easier missions, but... I just really want to unlock the full galaxy. Anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time.